Nobody likes a show off. That is why we all find it satisfying when they get their just desserts, whether you admit it or not. This is especially true within fighting sports when an arrogant or cocky fighter gets knocked down a peg or two within the ring. In today's video, we will take a look at 10 moments where the cocky fighter gets completely destroyed in the ring. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you will never miss a future upload. Number 10, Braulio Rodriguez versus Ryan Garcia. Even at the weigh-in where Braulio Rodriguez shoved his opponent, it was clear that he thought he was better than his opponent, Ryan Garcia. After Garcia fired off a few punches, Rodriguez's cockiness went into overdrive as he believed he had an easy victory on his hands. After the two burst away from a lock, Garcia managed to land a hook that dropped Rodriguez on his backside. Unfazed, Rodriguez continued fighting and began showing off by trying to dodge punches. He later danced on the spot and even stuck his tongue out tauntingly. Of course, it was all front and Garcia managed to knock his cocky opponent almost clean out of the ring. Number 9. Cocky Irish Fighter Despite cocky Irish fighter James Gallagher trying his hardest to intimidate his opponent, Ricky Bandejas, at the weigh-in and before the fight, it's Bandejas that stays cool and humble right up to the moment he savagely knocks Gallagher out. If you don't believe in karma, you might after watching this fight. Number 8. Peter McNeely Tough Words Peter McNeely had a lot to say running up to his fight with Iron Mike Tyson. In fact, he argued with the chuckling audience at the press conference. Now keep laughing, keep laughing. You'll feel funny, huh? And even shared a poem that would even make Dr. Seuss cringe. I'm Hurricane Peter McNeely from Medfield, Mass. On Saturday night, watch me kick Tyson's ass. But if you haven't made your pay-per-view arrangements yet, make them soon. Because remember what happens when I wrap you in my cocoon. This cocky fighter acted more like a WWE wrestler than he did a boxer, but was actually far smarter than he seemed, even holding a bachelor's degree in political science. When McNeely and Tyson finally went head-to-head, -head, no amount of tough talk could get him out of the impending knockout that was coming his way. It was clear that Tyson was the much better fighter and that McNeely was fighting on borrowed time ever since the first hook that knocked him back. After two minutes in the first round, the fight was over. Number seven, Badr Hari versus Peter Graham. Cocky kick fighter Badr Hari showed Peter Graham nothing but disrespect running up to the fight. At the press conference, he refused to shake hands and went on to insult Graham by calling him an amateur. Later that day at a press conference, Hari couldn't resist trying to intimidate Graham, also planting a kiss on the Australian which resulted in a slam to the ground. In the ring, the cocky fighter got another taste of sweet karma when Graham made quick work of him with a spinning heel kick, sending him out of the arena in an ambulance. Not bad for an amateur, right? Number 6. KSI versus Logan Paul 2 both being huge YouTube personalities with even bigger egos, when KSI and Logan Paul first announced they would fight, both YouTubers showed a level of cockiness that only fueled the rivalry further. The first fight ended with a controversial draw that merited a rematch the following year. I mean, Logan, I think there's only one thing to do. I think we got a rematch. 
giving both guys more than enough time to trash talk each other on their platforms, as well as turn their press conference into a trash talk circus. When it came to the rematch, both fighters didn't exactly pull off what they had promised beforehand, but KSI did manage to win on points against Logan Paul, who had predicted that he would knock KSI out in the first round. Number 5. Show Off Gets Owned In this raw amateur footage, a fighter steps into the ring, formed by spectators, by jumping in and spinning like a ninja. He is so confident that he will win, in fact, that he even gives some of the audience a high five in preparation for his quick win. Unfortunately, things didn't go down the way he wanted when he jumps, backflips, and front flips right into a devastating punch that almost knocks him through the floor. The winner then goes around and gets his high fives as the ref tries to wake the showboater back up. Maybe next time he should challenge people to a breakdance competition instead. It would certainly save him a lot of pain. Number four, the dancing boxer. You wouldn't be blamed for thinking that this was some sort of comedy sketch, but this dancing boxer, equipped with a chain that would make Mr. T envious, is an actual fighter. Although this show-off looks like he is enjoying the attention far too much, what he doesn't take into consideration is that his dancing is tiring himself out. It doesn't get any better once he gets in the ring as it turns into an MTV music video popping his best moves for the camera. Unfortunately for him, he wasn't as slick in the ring, getting knocked out cold in the very first round. It's scientifically proven that you can't dream while you're knocked out, but if you could, I'm certain this boxer would be in the middle of the dance floor celebrating his victory. Number three, Bermain Stavern trash talks Deontay Wilder. Bermain Stavern had a lot to say during his press conference for his fight with Deontay Wilder, promising to break his ribs and jaw before the fight was over. I'm going to crack your ribs, I'm going to crack your jaw, I'm going to send you home packing, and, and you will retire. Of course, with such tough words, it was in Stavern's best interest to at least beat the man he was talking so much trash on. On fight night, however, Wilder got his revenge by controlling the fight with his calm attitude before firing a jab that knocks Stavern onto his back in the first round. Stavern does try and keep the fight going, but after shakily stepping up to Wilder, he is smacked back down into the corner. One final time, he tries to fight, but at this point, he just becomes Wilder's punching bag before being knocked out cold. Number two, arrogant fighter knocked down a peg. This arrogant fighter wasn't shy about putting on an embarrassing show where he demonstrated how not to drink a can of soda, as well as make props to insult his opponent with the oldest taunt in the book. The display caused an equal mixture of cheers and boos that only fueled the ego of this MMA giant. When the two beasts began trading blows, however, the once cocky fighter was reduced to a curled up ball and was trying his hardest to protect himself until the bell finally rang. Maybe next time he will think twice about calling someone chicken and then proceed to hide away when the heat is turned up. Number 1. Charles Lado Parissa Does MC Hammer Move Charles Lado Parissa certainly knew how to make an entrance when he pulled out some MC Hammer moves prior to his fight with Dubai's Sultan Al Nuami. Sadly for Lado Parissa, it was his loss that made for the real hammer time as he was smashed down onto the canvas and through the ropes by Al Nuami. The dancing fighter tried to beat the count, but he couldn't get to his feet on time. And that concludes our video on 10 fighters who got instant karma after being cocky. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to Brutal TV and ring the notification bell. That way you can keep up to date with your fight-related fix.
Thanks for watching.